Morgan Motors joins the EV journey with its new development car, the Morgan XP1. It's going to be a test mule for engineers and designers to learn about EVs and how to transfer the driving characteristics of Morgan cars to their future EVs. Now, why would a car company like Morgan that makes low-volume production cars care about producing electric cars? This type of low-volume cars are still going to exist while using only combustion engines. They will be even more attractive in a market full of boring EVs. But to produce those cars, they have to comply with emission regulations and that requires technology improvements or innovations, which costs a lot to develop, especially for a company that doesn't produce a lot of cars. Now those emission regulations indirectly create demand for electric cars, and where there is demand, there is profit. As a business, one of the main incentives is profit and in a market that almost will require your cars to be at least hybrid, your business would go bankrupt. So this is the best time for a company like Morgan to start preparing for that market. Now the Morgan XP1 isn't intended for production. The main purpose of this car is powertrain development and EV competence and training for Morgan's team of engineers and designers. The prototype is built on the Super 3's aluminum chassis which is a three-wheelers car. So most probably the first electric production car from Morgan is going to be a three-wheels car as well. Is it going to replace the Super 3? If they make it, we will see. But all the knowledge gathered from this prototype is going to apply to all their future electric models. Now the thing Morgan cars are known for is being lightweight and what we know about electric cars is they get heavy. The component that affects the weight of the car the most is the battery but Morgan claims that the XP1 is compatible with the Super 3 in terms of weight. That could mean they will use a small battery which translates to a limited range. Do they have a technology to extend the battery range though using a small battery? We don't know yet. But what we know is the car has fast charging and bi-directional charging capabilities and it's the first Morgan to use an electronic parking brake. The XP1 took 12 months of development and now it's going to start the next stage which is a testing program during the next 18 to 24 months. This is the most important stage in development of any car. Everything was just simulations for Morgan's team of engineers in the previous 12 months. But in the next two years, we will follow their progress and see what will happen. Okay, this is it for this video, thanks for watching.